Just kidding, guys. You know that ain't my style. I hate that. Ten minutes walking into the woods. Stepping in mud puddles. Close-ups, too. So I did that for a joke. I'm in my backyard if you haven't heard my idiot neighbor's radio. He don't even turn it down during the commercials. But we're back here at the hut. So I'm going to set up my hammock. i got to hurry up. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain. Not much. But I'm going to set the hammock up. And I'm also going to put up the, uh, the tarp. Because it is supposed to rain. And then we're going to have a little camp out back here. So stick around. This should be a lot of fun. If I don't get mad at this neighbor and get thrown in jail for some reason. So stick around guys. Got her set up there. The rink on the tarp looked like it had a split in it. So we're set up. Um, I may lower this down a little bit more. That's a little better. We'll leave that hang for a tag line for a you know, in case it rains, the water doesn't run down into my tent, which I need to do the same thing with this. I want to tie a little piece of string on there so the water, hopefully the water will stop and run down here, but we just have to see. So if I put this through here, Should drip down off of that, a drip line. And I think I'll tie another one off here. Because water can just hit that and run down, down through there. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let me get that taken care of and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, we're set up now. I'll, uh, I got a tag line hanging here. So hopefully that'll... If, if it rains too hard, hopefully that won't go down these lines and it'll run down to here. I still may have to put one on here, but hopefully that'll take care of it, this little tagline here. So, we just have to see. Never really had a problem with the rain before, so... Hopefully that'll take care of it. If not, I, I got more. I can put another one there. So I'm going to change the batteries out. <clears throat> and this one's reading 24 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the battery now and put a big battery in here. And then we'll do some camping out. Uh, I want to I wanna do some stir fry on the fire tonight. But we'll just have to see how that goes because this guy playing his stupid music just don't care about nobody so I don't know how much of this I can film because of that and um, so you know copyrighted thing but yeah that's what I want to do is I want to bring my fire pit over here uh, if not I got my little tiny stove in there that we can use in my backpack if I have to so stick around guys there's more to come
Okay guys, so I'm gonna cut some of this stuff up here. I could probably break it, but I'm gonna use my saw because we are in the backyard and it's no different from car camping. If I was car camping, I'd have the saw. I'm gonna use it. So, let's cut some of this up here. Alright guys, so as you've seen, this turns into a fire pit and I never showed you that until now. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go get some dryer lint. I cannot find either one of my fire strikers. Well actually I have three and I don't know where they're at. So. Um, I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way and uh, use a lighter. But sit tight, and I'll be back with you and we'll get this fire going. Uh, I'm gonna make something really cool for supper. Not super cool, but different for me. So, hang tight, guys. Okay, I'm back. Still can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. I got some dryer lint here. Now we'll take some of these palm fronds. If you're out in palm fronds, man, this stuff's excellent kindling. Well, it's actually a fire starter. But you know what I mean, right? This is the first time I, I've even used this as a fire pit, so we're experiencing this together. This is this kind of punky wood here. Some of this is wet. But I think it'll be alright for what we're going to be doing. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put another vent over here on this side like I did on that side so let's let this fire get going and then we'll get ready and prepare our food okay guys so I gotta hurry up and talk and I gotta kind of talk loud because of this idiot or I will get demonetized and all and I'm going over and beating his little ass I'm sick and tired of it but anyway I've got my walk out here I've got two chicken bouillon cubes I've got this came from the Dollar Tree. It's complete seasoning. So it's supposed to have all kinds of stuff in it. I thought I'd give it a shot. 2.5 ounces from Badia. I bought this, this brand before of seasoning. I like it. This didn't come from there, but I got some soy sauce. This came from there. I got some pepper stir fry. And I got some smoked Polish sausage to put in with it. It's 8 ounce. So... 
like I said, I've already had this. I got some oil here. I know it says oregano, don't judge. But I didn't want to bring the big thing of oil out here. So, um, but, so I thought I'd try some stuff from there. And uh, I think every so often I'll just go and, like if I'm doing a solo, you know, this is plenty of stuff for me. And also got some sausage for breakfast. So I'm just kind of letting the fire go down a little bit so we're not... Uh, really overheating our stuff real bad and then uh, I did bring extension cord out just to plug my camera in and in case we need light you know uh, I don't have to use battery power if I'm in the backyard why use it right so it saves on my batteries um, they are rechargeable but again why not just plug this stuff in so I know is it cheating really no I'm still camping I mean you know just because I'm not out in the middle of the woods in Montana somewhere doesn't mean I'm not camping so all right guys uh, let's get this fire I want to stoke the fire around a little bit and then we'll get ready and we'll put put our walk on and we'll start our supper hopefully before it gets dark okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and cut this up we may have a vitter visit vitter visitor later um we'll have to see i'm pretty sure i will though <laughs> since we're only out here in the backyard i may have a visitor come out sit with me by the fire a little bit um yes it's monkey <laughs> but still a great visitor in fact <laughs> these are just polar sausages from bar s smoked Polish sausages, like I said, eight ounce, made with chicken, pork, added. Okay. I've had these before, but not from the Dollar Tree, but I've had the Bar S, this brand right here, this exact same stuff I'm cutting up right here. I thought they tasted fine. Now, not everything's cheap at the Dollar Tree because it's like... You know, everything's $1.25 now to begin with, but also, like, she buys me Vienna sausages for snacks at night, and um, they're like $0.85 cents at Winn-Dixie, and, um, well, they're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, so, you know, but these are cheaper. These were only $1.25. Uh, stir fry it's not a big bag but it's enough for well i'd say for two people so i'm going to go ahead and cut this up the fire is getting down about where i need it to be so i'm going to cut this up a little bit more and then uh we'll get ready we'll get our pan hot and we'll do some cooking Yeah, I put both of them in there because I love the flavor of that stuff. A lot of people be like, it's too much. Well, it probably is for some people, but I love that flavor. So you don't even have to add it if you don't want to. Oh, lost one. So that was a 12 ounce bag. I know you guys have seen me. No one said anything yet, but I know you're supposed to like boil it first a little bit, but anyway, now we got somebody beating on something over here. But I've done it both ways and never I could never tell a difference. So I'm gonna let these cook down a little bit. Then it'll be time to eat. We'll try it out. We almost forgot, didn't we? Well, you guys probably didn't, but I did. Almost forgot. We'll put some of the seasoning in here. And some of our soy sauce. 
I like teriyaki better, but I don't have any teriyaki, so. There we go. Now we're going to let it cook up for, you know, five or ten minutes, and then we'll give it a try. i, I got to hurry up and do this because these cast iron pans get really hot. There we go. We've got some nice gravy going on in there. Nice. Now we're going to plate some of this up. Get our little plate here. And no, I'm not contaminating anything because those sausages are already cooked. There was no raw meat put in this. Man, you can smell them peppers. Smells like the county fair. All right, let's give this a shot, see how they taste. All right, guys, so I had to, I put my shotgun mic on here because hopefully, you know, that noise is coming from behind you right now. Hopefully that'll help block it. And it's starting to rain. And you know what? Hang on, I forgot my fork. Okay, I got my spork here. Let's give this a shot. Got some peppers on here, and a piece of that meat. Wow, this tastes like a sausage sandwich that you get at a fair or a carnival, only without the bread. If you had some bread, that's exactly what it would taste like. And I can taste the smoke in it from, you know, the grill, from the fire. I can taste the soy sauce, and I can taste a bunch of different seasoning. I can taste it all, it's pretty good. Mm. All right, I'm going to move you guys underneath the, the tent, tarp, whatever, and I'm going to move in there with you. I'm going to take this in to see if Monkey wants to try some. Hang tight and I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, let's throw another log on here. We'll let this get going. I just turned the camera on and of course, you know, here comes the traffic. So I've been waiting a while. It's after nine now. Monkey came out and hung out with me for a little bit. But it's after nine now. Uh, they had something going on over at the racetrack. We have a figure eight racetrack a couple miles from us and they must have been doing hot laps or testing tune or something. So it got noisy, as you can tell. The music shut down now. That's good. I had to jump his ass and uh, get him to turn that down. And so anyway, we'll sit down and talk for a minute. Okay, guys. So anyway, I can watch my movie tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry I can't share it with you guys. <laughs> but I got my old phone out here and I found a website that I can watch my movie for free. I do have the video, but um, her dad's, I still call it her dad's, it's mine now, but her dad's laptop will not play DVDs. A monkey's will, and she said, why don't you just bring my laptop out? Well, I don't, you know, if I drop it or something, I don't want that to happen. So, uh, I found it online. I got Wi-Fi out here, so I got my old phone out here because my new phone it's not new anymore but the one i have now first of all it's turned off second of all uh the wi-fi kicks on for five to ten seconds and then off five to ten seconds back on five to ten seconds and off five to ten seconds so that rav4 i hate it and also you know i think i'm going to go back to cricket because you know I get I get out of the driveway, you know. Uh, my bill was eighty four dollars a month, and and I just hell they first they sent me a new SIM card that wasn't doing it, so they sent me a new phone that didn't take care of it. I could be sitting up here at Winn Dixie looking at the cell phone tower, which would probably be I don't know one hundred fifty yards away at the most no service um horrible horrible so i'm done with them i didn't pay the bill because i'm done with them i'm done i'm not going through them no more 
So I'm probably going to have to get a new phone, which is totally fine with me, but I'm going back to Cricut. I'll just get a new phone. So if any of you guys ever, if you tried to text me, if you have my personal number and stuff, if you tried to text me, I'm not ignoring you. My phone's off. And uh, so, and it doesn't stay on Wi Fi. So get a hold of me through Messenger if you have to, because then I can get on. You know, I can get on there with my computer. But anyway, so something I want to talk to you guys about. A big, big time YouTuber. Um, 1.2 million, 1.1 million views or something like that. Or viewers. Sorry, subscribers. That's awesome. Because I used to follow this guy. I used to support him, watch every video before he got big he was awesome camping with Steve Steve Wallace that's right I'm saying it so you know I may lose some people for this but you know what if you don't want to listen to my side of this story um, then that's fine click off now no hard feelings whatever I'm unsub unsubscribed from me whatever I get it but if you followed him from the beginning like I have it was camping with Steve that's what it was. I mean, he'd go, you, you know, just wherever he could and camp. And he, you know, he'd start a fire with gasoline if he had to. You know, just a normal guy. And I remember I watched him every video of his up until he hit 100,000 subs. And we, Monkey and I watched the, um, the his 100,000 subscribers, I should say. 100,000 subscriber uh, live stream where they hit a hundred thousand during the live stream that was awesome but I said I told monkey I said you watch he's gonna change from now on and he even said I'm not gonna change you know just because I'm getting big now I'm not gonna change I said right there he's gonna change and it wasn't but you know a video or two later and just his his whole algorithm change his everything he did every everything he did it's not really camp with Steve anymore. It's stealth camping with Steve. It's all about the stealth camping. You guys know, if you follow me, how I feel about that. You want to go camping. You want to stealth camp. That's fine. Don't rub it in people's faces that I'm trespassing and I could go to jail. And No, no, you can't. You, they're not just going to roll up and arrest you. It doesn't work that way. Number one, first of all, they have to give you a warning. Then if you don't leave or you come back, then you can go to jail for trespassing. You have to be warned first. Um, and Steve, he's from, you know, Canada, which is the same thing there. I know some Canadians, yes, they will vouch it. They, people won't just roll up on, the cops will not just roll up on you and arrest you for trespassing. They'll ask you to move on, they'll ask you to leave. Then if you don't, then you'll get arrested. And he makes it sound like he can do time in prison and stuff. But he started changing. As soon as he hit 100,000 subs, that was it. He changed and, you know, he started buying the best equipment he could buy. I understand. You know, I want to keep my equipment up too. But I don't buy the best camping equipment just because, you know, everybody else is using it now that I'm big time. I am still want to buy those Arc Trail. I am still want to buy the cheapest stuff I can buy that works for me. You know, and... You know, I'm sold on Ozark Trail. I've used Ozark Trail for 20 years, 30 years now. And I've never had a problem with any of their equipment. But anyway, back to... Back to the... Uh, point here. So, she still watches him, you know. Canadian thing. Whatever, that's fine. She can watch him. I don't, unless I happen to be in the room and she's watching him. Well, we watched... Um, one of his videos right after his wife passed away God rest her soul this has nothing to do with her wife with his wife at all wonderful lady and everything supported him she's pretty much the one that got him where he is today but what got me is like it was the video after he announced that she had passed away now I'm gonna get to something here in a minute that's pretty interesting Monkey and I was watching it, and he was talking about the 99% of people are great. His viewers are great, but there's that 1% that bug him and makes his life miserable. And 
you know, I got more than that. I've got less than 7,000 views. I'm pushing 7,000 subscribers. I keep saying views, viewers, subscribers. I got more than that to bug me. I, you know, I don't like them. I'll, I'll just block them, whatever. You know, I'll remove their comment and block them. It's not a big deal. It's just, it's just part of it. It's what you're going to get. And he went on to say, this is strange. I'm going to get to something really strange. He went on to say that uh, he had gotten an email. He wouldn't say from who. But he had gotten an email stating that he said this person felt that he was slapping the homeless people in the, in the face by stealth camping, by doing what I'm doing, is what he said. And he said, well, all, and this is what he said, and I quote, well, all I've got to say about that is, guess it ain't for everybody. Then he moved on to another subject. Instead of saying, instead of saying something like, well, you know, that's not the way I, I want it to come across. I'm sorry that it looks that way. You know, that's not what I'm intending to do here. You know, none of that. Just, eh, I guess it's not for everybody. No, it ain't, because let me tell you something, Steve. I know you'll never see this, but it doesn't matter. Somebody can tell him. I don't care. Um, let me tell you something. That, you know, if you're out stealth camping, and you're asked to move along, and it's pouring down rain or whatever, you can get your car, and you can go home. If it's cold out, you can get your warm car, you can warm your car up, drive home warm, get in a warm house, whatever the case may be. A homeless person can't do that. If they get caught trespassing or stealth camping and they're asked to move on, they got to pack up their stuff, walk in the rain to go try to find a bridge or somewhere else to get in out of the weather, to get out of the cold, to get out of the rain. And you, my friend, can just jump in your cozy little car and go to your cozy little house. That's why I don't watch many stealth camping videos. I, I just, it just really bothers me about that, you know. Because there's, there's actually homeless veterans, you know, people that fought and has even been shot so we can be free and here they don't even have a place to live. They have no home. They have no money. And then here, you know, we got these stealth campers that just think it's so cool. And all the people that support that, that's bullshit too, you know. They're supporting slapping our homeless vets in the face by going, you know, <laughs> I don't have to do this. I'm doing it because I want clout, because I want viewers. I want the views. I want the money. They do it because they have to. And that's all I got to say about that. But right before I came out here, I just went in the house. I got my pillow. I got me another Coke and talked to Monkey for a minute. And I was looking at that video where he said that in, gone. It's not in that video anymore. That section, the video is still there. That section is not there anymore. It's gone. Because I was going to add it in here and show you guys what he said because that's exactly what he said. Well, all I got to say about that is, I guess it ain't for everybody. Kind of chuckled. Starting to ring. And I'm like, are you kidding me? What kind of person does that, you know? Instead of, you know, I would have had to stop and think and go, you know, maybe they're right. I, I kind of am slapping the homeless people and our homeless vets in the face, you know, by, you know, just kind of rubbing it in that they don't have to do that. They choose to do it. Well, if you had to do it, you know, I mean, it'd be a little different then, wouldn't it? When you can't just, you know, go to the store and, and, and buy all this, you know, $300 tents and these these uh, you know $200 tent stoves and all this bullshit I think you'd have a different different look outlook on that and then you see somebody walking up the street with a backpack you know going <laughs> I'm trying to be stealthy <laughs> but if I get told to leave I can just go home I just don't like that guys so I just thought I felt I owed it to you to explain to you why I'm so against the stealth camping you know, I mean, just can't we just go camp and have fun? I mean, like my intro, you know, anymore, that's all you see. They're walking in. They, four or five different angles of walking past the camera. 
close-up of stepping in a mud hole, you know, with their boot. And then you get a close-up of them, you know, they take off their pack and they get a close-up of setting the pack down. Then they get a close-up of taking out their axe or their saw. and Then they get a close-up of chopping up the wood. And then you got to get that almighty close-up of, throwing, you know, putting the axe down in the log. Why, man? You know, I, you know, the camping videos, I, I, I don't hardly watch any anymore because of that. I mean, as soon as they start that, you know what it's going to be. It's all B-roll. You know, 40-minute video, and you'll get about seven minutes of, you know, seeing what they cook and, you know, maybe some of the equipment they use. But other than that, I mean, I can understand some B-roll. You know, you're in a beautiful place sharing that, you know, putting your drone up, getting some drone footage. Yeah, that's that's all well and good. But when that's all you do is just close-ups of this and that and, you know, close-up of lighting your lantern. You got two lanterns. Yeah, Kent Survival has two oil lamps. He, he can't just show one, close up a light in one. He's got to show a close up a light, light in the other one too. That's padding your watch time, man. That's that's exactly what that, that's doing. And, you know, to me, it, it just gets so boring. You know, and then at, at the end, it's thanks for watching, see ya. And then it's, they're walking away from the camera. It, it's it, to me that's not camping it to me that's a job man you know when I got to go out I have to go out once a week and they're the ones that get the views you know I don't get it how interesting is that for real I mean and every time they got to chop the wood every time they got to show that you know you guys saw me cut up a couple pieces of wood you get it I'm building a fire you know, and then when they're eating, they get done eating, they got to show the table or whatever, and then they show putting down an empty plate. Really? We get it. Good job. Good boy. You finished your supper. Good boy. Now you can have a treat. You know, and then it's always, you know, the time lapse of them sleeping. Then, you know, them coming out of the tent now you know dude you've already been out there because I know you didn't leave your camera out all night and if you did to get the time lapse you still had to go out and turn your damn camera on or move your camera towards the tent or your you know your hammock or whatever and act like you're getting up when you've probably been up for an hour already you know then they'll make their coffee then they'll sit there and Like it's a coffee commercial, looking off into the distance. I just don't get it, you know. I, I like I like the guys that, you know, that'll talk, like me, I know. Maybe to some people, oh, you talk too much. But I like to hear them tell stories. I like to hear them share their stories about when they were growing up and camping and what they did with their families and friends. I, I like that. That's interesting, you know. Chopping wood not very interesting to me especially every video you can you can predict before it starts and I've done it with monkey I've told her you know look I'm gonna predict what's going on here I've got an issue here something going on with my charger got two chargers one of them quit working this one was just blinking it was on and off must have been loose up here hope it ain't in my camera but i don't think so but anyway guys so thanks for listening to that it, it's, it, I, if it comes off as a rant i didn't mean it as a rant i just want you you know to know why the uh the stealth camping really gets on my nerves you know i've had friends that were that were homeless for every year i didn't even know it they never asked me for help never asked me for a thing they'd come by visit whatever of course i'd feed them you know we always had a big feed you know we always and they would leave. I just, you know, you know, I'll have to come, come to your place to visit you sometime. Yeah, well, you know, my place is small. There's just something like that, you know. But they were so, you know, humbled about stuff. They, they didn't, you know, 
they didn't bother me. They didn't ask me for money. They didn't ask me for a place to stay, which I would have gave it to them if I had it. I always had a place to stay. I would have gave them a place to stay. But, you know, they just, you know, maybe ashamed or whatever. You know, and then you got this guy with thousands of dollars. He gets, you know, thousands of dollars every month just for beer. Just so he can go buy uh, the beer fund donation. Are you serious? You know, I got fifty dollars. You know, to to get to be able to go to the doctor one time. Wow! But this guy gets thousands of dollars every month from Patreon for beer and for camping somewhere where homeless people have to do. You know, I mean, it's just capitalizing on that. I I just don't get it. You know. Anyway, sorry about that. So I think. I hear it sprinkling here off and on a little bit. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. But I think I'm going to go in here. I'm going to watch my movie. And then I'll be back with you before I go to sleep. Um, I didn't bring out... I didn't bring my sleep... sleep. I didn't bring my sleeping bag out. I've got my sleeping pad, but I don't think I'm going to need it in that hammock. Um, so all I brought is a pillow. Uh, I didn't even bring a jacket. But yeah, like I said, monkey come out for a good hour come out and hung out Bruno came out so had a good time just sitting here by the fire so had it raging for her <laughs> so yeah it does feel pretty good but um yeah it's it's a little chilly but I think I'll be all right in there um I don't think it's cold enough I'm gonna have I can try the buddy heater I'll be just be wasting propane but so maybe next time like in the tent or something but I think I'll be all right in there uh I can always go into the house you know I'm not stealth camping here. I can always just go into the house and you know, grab me a blanket. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need my sleeping bag tonight. <laughs> so if I have to, like I said, I'll go in there. And I got that hoodie. Still had the tags on it, remember? I showed you guys in my last solo that, uh, yeah, still had the tags on it. She bought me. I, I haven't even worn it yet. But she, she called it earlier. She said, well, you got your sweater with the hoodie. <laughs> on it i was like oh, okay yeah it's starting to rain now so i'm gonna get you guys in there and then uh i'm gonna watch my movie and i'll be back with you guys when my movie's done stick around more to come guys i just wanted to show you what the back of our house looks like with the front of the house lit up inside there is our christmas tree You can see through the door. Now up front you can see, I think, through the trees. Let me, uh... I think you can see that. See all that blinking. That's coming from the front. It's shining clear back here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Even back in here. It's starting to rain. Time to go watch my movie. I just wanted to share that with you. pretty cool okay guys so I'm in my slip in my uh, went in the house I got my thing here my sweater with the hoodie on it she's called it but I got my hoodie on I got it for Christmas last year I never worn it uh, I did get me a blanket it's a little warm uh, I got the buddy heater on or the the little buddy down here the heater on I'm getting ready to shut it off it's getting pretty warm in here and you know what's that behind me I'm getting a little warm because uh, and I'm you know just underneath this tarp so yeah it's pretty warm in here with the heater on I got it down here by me um, it is 1 at 11 a.m. December 18th, 
Sunday. Uh, it's 57 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's pretty warm in here for me. So I'm going to watch some YouTube. Maybe do some Googling. I don't know. And then I'm going to get some rest. And if anything, you know, if I can think of anything or I got something to tell you guys or whatever, then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll kick you back on. If not, I'll see you in the morning. So in case I don't see you later, good night. Good morning, everyone. It's about, it's going on 10 o'clock. I actually got up about 6 this morning. I think it was 5.49. And uh, so I went in and I was going to come out then, start making breakfast, but it was still dark. So I hung out with Monkey for a little bit and I came back out now. So, and there's still smoke coming out of that stack. So, I put the slit on here last night in case we got a lot of rain. <sighs> oh yeah, we'll be able to get a we'll be able to get a fire going with this with no problem. He is oh. All right, guys, let me get you in the stand. We're just going to have sausage. I was going to have some eggs, but I'm not feeling it. So I got two different sausages to try. We got this. Jimmy Dean. And we have this. Farmer John. Okay, well, it kicked up. Just as I brought you over, I put you on the stand, brought you over, and there it is. It kicked up. So... Let me get some wood, get thrown on here, so we can cook our breakfast. Okay guys, we got our grate on there. Now, go ahead and put our pan on. We're gonna let that heat up, and then we're gonna put our sausages in. All right guys, sorry about the smoke. We got eight of these, we're gonna put these in. Farmer John. There's some sizzle. Now we're going to put six of the Jimmy Deans in there. I'm just making them all. They, remember, these were $1.25 each. I'm just making them all in case Monkey wants some. I'm sure Bruno's going to want one. There they are, guys. Let's get them on a plate and we'll give them a shot, see which one's better. Okay guys, so these are the Farmer John and these are the uh, Jimmy Dean sausages. I'm gonna bring you up here first. And do the Farmer John. Wow. Those are good guys. It's gonna to be tough to beat for a dollar, dollar twenty-five. That's hard to say, guys. Um, man, they're both two thumbs up. Four and a half out of five star for both of them. Uh. Farmer John, I think, is going to get a five star. Try that again, Farmer John. I think Farmer John's going to get a five star because you get more. But as far as flavor, they're even. I'll, I'll eat either one of these. Hmm. No complaints for me. All right. I'm going to sit you down here for a second. I'm going to have a seat in a chair. Kind of holding my tripod because 
there's a big dish right in here in the ground I don't know I don't think it's a sinkhole I think maybe someone had a pool here at one time because it's perfectly round that would be my guess but anyway so I'm holding the tripod up um, the uh, the setup back there uh, my hammock and the tarp did fine I did get some rain while I was watching my movie pretty strong rain no leaks no problems uh, of course I am in some trees so that helped uh, about 3 3 30 this morning it got really windy it got down to about uh, 50 or 52 last night it's not that bad but Florida that's a chilly 52 degrees now the first blanket I had it was perfect man but I forgot to shut the lantern out so I was getting out of my hammock to turn the lantern out and I had I don't know if you can see it but I had my chair over there and had a pop in the cup holder of it and I shut the lantern off when I come back um, I was moving the blanket around and it knocked and the blanket kind of came down the sides like this and it knocked that chair over and it was a full pop I got pop all over so I had to go in the house I shot it down with some shout so it wouldn't stain. I grabbed another blanket. That's actually Bruno's old blanket there. Uh, it wasn't the greatest. It did get chilly, but I had the little buddy heater on for a couple hours just to take the chill off and it worked fine, man. It was great, no problems. I actually had to shut it off because it got too hot. Yeah, even under there, that it really gave out some heat. Then, um, and then, like I said, I went back to sleep and I got up. It was 5.49. I got up and I smoked a cigarette and I went in about 6. Spent a little time with Monkey and then uh, watched a couple shows with her. And I came back out here to you guys. So the fire pit did wonderful. There's no complaints on that. In fact, I've got another tank. It's a smaller one than that, but we're going to build another one of these out back here. It's going to be cool. Um, it's going to be a dedicated grill. It's not, you know, going to be mobile. So, and I got some um, Christmas videos coming up. You know, Christmas Eve I'll do, I'll do a live stream again. Uh, and then I'm not sure what day, but I, I will be reading "Twas the Night Before Christmas." That'll be a uh, an upload, so that way, you know, you guys can show them to your kids or nephews grandkids whatever siblings if you want to and then we got I got a couple more things lined up so yeah we'll have a video a day until Christmas and we'll do one on Christmas because I am smoking a ham in that fire pit that you just seen there only it's going to be the smoker <laughs> so it's kind of a dual purpose triple purpose barbecue smoker and fire pit so anyway guys I had a great time hope you did and I uh, appreciate y'all watching and much love to y'all. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm going, I'm gone for now. I'll be back out later this afternoon or this evening to get my stuff. Uh, Monkey's little granddaughter's coming over. She's got a couple things to give to her. She's two, so that's a, that's a fun age for them on Christmas time. So they'll be over here in a little while and um, I'm gonna go in and get a shower, edit this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care. Hope you had fun.